treated in our world in many respects it doesn't bear thinking about. Gender inequality is something that affects many faith institutions. There is an exclusion of women from education, from labour market, which has serious consequences really for the family, for the society and for the community. The Catholic Church does not um, allow women to be ordained as priests. When you go into a seat place of worship, you'll find that many women are perhaps cooking in the Lunger Hall, but you'll find very few of them in positions of leadership, and that's a worry. From my faith perspective, Judaism, God is not male or female, but God is both, and God is one, and God is everything and limitless. If you look at the uh, Quran, it's categorically mentioned that the God has created man and woman from Adam and Eve. Uh, they are treated equally. Women in faith institutions need to have a voice. We have to create awareness that yes, there's a discrimination. It's that thinking of inclusivity, about how can we change and adapt to make sure that everyone feels welcome within that place of worship. That makes the difference and that's what you need to have if you want to have proper gender equality. I feel like on a proactive way that I'm tackling this gender inequality by starting a group of Jewish and Muslim women in my community and we have more in common than we have different. It is not only up to women uh, to advocate for their equality, for their opportunities. If the obstacles and the barriers are removed by those who are in power uh, to allow those uh, that to happen. There's space, time for collective gatherings and for finding what we have that brings us in to a place of power in the world. <laughs>